So hello, 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 brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Worshippers Retreat. Um, my name is Rhonda, and I pray you all are having a great day today. Uh, so y'all wanted me to do uh, this video, and the title of it is The Power of Confession. Um, I'm going to start from 1 John, the first chapter and the ninth verse. It says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Um, James, the fifth chapter, 16 verse said, confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So, um, I remember when a while back, um, I think I was in my twenties and, uh, you know, I had been out my parents' house and stuff and, um, you know, something was like bothering me. And so prior to this, y'all, I had never lied to my parents. Um, I was like, I, this, I wrote, read those scriptures that says under that father and my mother and thou should not lie, you know? And so I had never lied to my parents and y'all have blessed me as a result of that. But I started getting around the wrong crowd and I started, uh, you know, just doing things that didn't reflect the heart of y'all. And so I remember going to my dad cause I'm a very honest person. Like, mm -mm. Nah. Um, and I confessed to him that I had lied to him about, um, you know, something. And so he burst, he burst out laughing because to him, it was like, he said, you grown now, but I'm just like, but still, he's like, you didn't have to tell me that. And I was like, no, I had to tell you that because what I realized y'all, the more you hide your sin, the worse, the more Satan can use that against you. And, and, and I call it spiritual blackmail. You know, a lot of y'all can't get free today because you're taking, you're hiding your sins and y'all want, y'all says to go ahead and confess it. You know, don't come, you can't confess stuff to everybody because some people can't handle it, but I knew my father uh, could handle it. And, um, y'all has actually sent people to me. Some people don't even know me and they just tell me like they feel led to just, you know, confess some stuff to me because, they know, you know, I'll pray with them and, you know, I'm not the judge. Y'all is the judge and I give them scripture. So y'all wants you all to confess your faults. And it also says in Matthew uh, 5, 23 through 24, therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar and there rememberest that thy brother have ought against thee, leave there thy gift before the altar and go thy way. First be reconciled to that brother and then come and offer that gift. So I'll do a part two on that. But confess and 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 be honest with uh y'all. 